everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm your girl, Discovering Sheree. So in today's video, you're gonna see Sam and I cooking dinner. Um, we were invited to join a virtual couples date night where we cooked our own meals and we actually had a dietitian and wellness specialist cam coach us through and show us how to make this amazing meal on the menu we had signature drinks we had marinated steak uh, it was ribeyes and we also had t-bones and then we also had herb crusted salmon roasted broccoli and cauliflower, Parmesan herb skillet potatoes, and apple crostatas. And so it was so fun, so delicious, and it was great because I was able to get Sam in the kitchen with me. So come along as we make this meal, and if you have any suggestions on other meals that we should make together, let us know. Also, I'm going to be linking Cam's website and IG name in the description box. Make sure to check her out. And if you're looking to do a virtual date night or cook with me or cooking class, any type of cooking class, make sure to hit her up. Okay, you guys, let's get into this video and let's get cooking. So we start out by joining the class with all of our friends and grabbing ourselves a little something to drink to loosen up because this is a party. I know we're cooking, but it's still a party, right? So now we're just listening to the instructions for Cam and we're about to start cooking. So first we preset our oven to 425 because we're using this to cook the two things that we need to put in the oven which are our roasted vegetables and the salmon and shrimp. Okay, starting with our vegetables, each couple is gonna take a vegetable. Sam takes broccoli and I'm gonna take the cauliflower. We're gonna chop them up. We're gonna put them in the bowl and then Cam is gonna walk us through seasoning them properly and then we're going to actually put them in the oven to roast for about 20 minutes. So of course, I'm so proud of Sam for doing such a great job with chopping. And throughout this, you'll see that he does a great job cooking. And we also realized as we were filming and cooking and trying to clean that we are so excited for the new house that we're going to get to have a super big kitchen, which more of that is to come. So you just saw us prepping our pan for when we put the vegetables in there to roast. And now we're just seasoning our vegetables. So adding a little oil and then we're adding all the different seasonings that Cam suggests. We're just putting those in the bowl and we're going to also start mixing everything up. Again, you guys, it was just so much fun doing this, not only with Sam, but with all of our couple friends. So in all of the cooking that I've done and I actually really like the cook I've never really used a lot of fresh seasoning so it really was an eye-opener for me and I will be probably not only buying fresh seasoning but I may try to grow it if you want to see me grow some fresh seasonings or vegetables let me know put that down in the comment section Okay, so now our vegetables are seasoned. We're putting them in the pan and it is time to roast these bad boys. It is 
time for us to start on our potatoes, y'all. I love carbs. Can I say that again? I love carbs. So making potatoes, always great for me. So one thing to note is that we use the air fryer to make our ribeyes and our T-bone steaks. Of course, it was so quick for us to have to flip them over every five to seven minutes that I really didn't get to film it, but that's what we're using our air fryer for. Okay, now Sam is looking at the vegetables and they're looking good, but we're gonna put them back in the oven for about five more minutes. Time to start on our salmon and shrimp. Y'all, this came out so good. I just ate some more today. It was amazing. I love that we were able to use butter with a lot of these recipes because I like butter and of course you cannot make any type of seafood without some lemon juice. All of our seasonings are mixed together it is time to put our fish and shrimp on the pan and to season it and put it in the oven So just cutting up some lemon slices because we're going to put these lemon slices on the salmon and the shrimp and Sam is cutting some slices of butter and we're going to put that on top too and it just made for this great cream kind of that was on it when it finished and it just kept the fish and shrimp very moist. It was just so good. Just so good. Okay, now it's time for us to get those potatoes in the skillet. Just starting out with our oil. We're also going to be putting in some butter and some minced garlic. Stir that around. Sam is going to cut up some onions and I'm going to cut up some green peppers. We're going to put that in the mix and it's going to give the potatoes a really great flavor. <music> So by this time, our broccoli and cauliflower are done. And it was so good that if you're looking at it closely, you can see how much we've eaten <laughs> as we've been cooking because it tastes so good. Just adding in some rosemary and some parsley to our potatoes just to give it a little bit more flavor. And we're just gonna let this cook. And after 20 minutes, the salmon and the shrimp are done. And I also wanna note that our steak has been done by this time. We put it in the air fryer for, um, I think eight minutes on each side, and that made it more like a medium well. So now everyone, it is time to make these signature drinks. Um, everyone else chose dark liquor, but I had rum in my cabinet, so that's what we used. And I forget what this is called, but it has pineapple juice in it, a few shots of rum, 
um, some lime juice. And we were supposed to have mint leaves, but I'm not the biggest fan, so we just left those out. And then we added some honey to sweeten it up. And then after we give it a good shake, we're gonna put it in our glasses just because this container, obviously our old spaghetti jar, just wasn't big enough for us to put in our um, club soda. And we're just gonna put that to top it off as we put it into our glasses. Cheers, everyone. Now it's time to make our dessert, which was the apple crostatas. I think I'm saying that right. Anyway, they're like mini apple cobblers, and I'm liking these like little personal size like apple cobblers. They're perfect where I don't feel like I completely blew my diet. As we cut these up, and we're gonna go ahead and start mixing our ingredients, which includes brown sugar and butter and cinnamon, nutmeg, vanilla abstract. We're gonna end up mixing all of that together and then we're gonna be putting them in to muffin tins with the crust and we're gonna bake them for about, I think it was about 20 minutes. <laughs> And just a quick tip for people who don't bake a lot, to make sure that you really, really, really spray down your muffin tins because you do not want them to stick. Because we sprayed them so much, you guys, nothing sticked. It was perfect and it was such an easy cleanup. just love the fact that all of us were working together if you look up at the computer screen you will see all of my friends making their dishes as well it just was a really good time minutes they're done and beautiful and they taste so good okay you guys right here we're gonna start plating our food I'm not gonna lie I don't feel like it looked the prettiest but it tastes amazing and a part of it not looking the best it's just because we're not the best at plating food we're great at eating it though Now that is plated, we're preparing to take our first bites, but of course I don't let Sam do so because I have to take pictures of our plates. So all of the couples decided that we'll take our first bites together just because it really felt good to do this with everyone and our food came out so good. Thank you again, Cam, for showing us how to make this delicious meal. Alright 
everyone. Thank you again for watching our video. Of course, you know, I post every Monday at 9 a.m. And if you haven't subscribed, make sure to go ahead and do that. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Okay, everyone, I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one. Bye.